Oh, hi. Me? I'm in Studio F, and I really want the distressor on my Pro Tools session. So how do I do that? So let's look. Pro Tools session, and I'm going to go to my snare track. And I've got a BF76 on it, but I'm going to go ahead and bypass, and I want to see what the distressor is going to sound like. So what I'm going to do is come in here and pick I.O., and I'm going to pick at in and out so I'm going to pick A16. What does that mean? That means now the 16th input and output on the first HD interface is going to be my snare track. I'm going to hit solo, and you can see I'm not hearing my snare track because it's going out the 16th I.O. But if I look down here in the interface, there's my snare. So how do I patch that in? Grab two handy patch cables, come over here. And what you're going to be looking for is A16, here's A, here's 9 through 16. So that's my input, and that is my output. So what's the signal path? I'm going to go out of A16 to my distressor, which is over here, distress in. Then I'm going to complete the signal path by going distressor output, and I'm going to go back to my 16 input, which is up here. Coming in my distressor, and I can see the output is all the way at zero. That's not very handy. So now, there's my distressor, and I, as always, how do we make sure that that's what I'm doing? I can clearly hear that this distressor is affecting and right when in, when in doubt let's just put everything at five but that's probably not the setting I want four to one ratio nah let's go ten to one ratio come on be bold now I have my distressor as a plug-in at a 16 so if I want to add more plugins after that or if I want to rearrange the order I can do that as well